Welcome inside the Czech Vancouver studios. From the thrill of victory to the agony of defeat, I'm representing the latter. Linda is representing the prior. Linda, congratulations on the Oilers' big win. Thank you. And you know what? I'm not going to gloat because I know the bitterness when your team doesn't win. And oh my God, it was such a good series. It was such a good series. Right? And right, great. I was hopping up and down the last three minutes of the game. I was like, oh, oh my, my God. God. I was like, oh. I was like, sit down. So, yes, uh, the Canucks are not moving on. The Oilers are playing Let's see tonight. It. Let's see it. Okay, well, here's here's the handshake. Oh, yeah, right. This was really emotional. You know what? I do have to say, as sad as I was that the Canucks lost in Game 7, the way they did. A couple of sweet This is beautiful. There. You know what? This is what I love about the game. The handshakes are really important. The yeah. respect these players have for one another. Connor McDavid, I mean, come on now. He is the best in the league. And uh, uh, this Canucks is huge. Skinner, are... I have issue with. Why? Why? <laughs> well, he just seems Why? a little bit of a chirper. But look at how Skinner's cute. Skinner's a chirper. Yeah, look at how cute these guys are. And the fans stayed in the rink, and they were waving. I didn't yeah. like how Skinner chirped his teammates when they lost early. In... Yeah, like like. I well, I did my that. job. Oh, I oh yeah, he gave that. it a little lot in the post game. I was like, okay, okay bro. Well, all I'm gonna say is I got to know the Canucks team this version better. Yeah. And clearly, they're gonna do really well because the coach and I've really had a lot of respect for Rick Tockett. Yeah. Because he says it like it is, pretty honest, pretty down to earth. Uh, you know, Very. a guy who led the team. He's played. He's to won. the top of the division. Yeah, right? for sure. Nobody has now won. What did he win? The Jack Adams yeah. Award. This is a big deal that Rick Tockett won. He yeah. is the coach of the year in the National Hockey League. They announced it today. Or, yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Was it yesterday? Sorry. I'm sorry, my COVID brain is showing. <laughs> but he won in a landslide. Can we show that other slide, Derek? That one? Look at this. That's, Look at the points. Wow. The next possible was 145. Rick Tockett got 483 points. Look at you that. You know what I think was That's funny amazing. is I think Rick Tockett looks like a bruiser, like someone you might be scared of if you ran into them in a back alley, whereas the Oilers coach, Knobloch, looks like he might do your taxes. He might be your accountant. <laughs> kind of might. I honestly <laughs> right? really thought that. Yeah. He looks like a really nice guy. But, I mean, I love watching these these guys go at it, and it's going to be super exciting. I love Rick Tockett basically saying, you know, I'm really happy for these guys. We've brought the fan base back to the team. It is like this resurge of passion. We all watched Donnie and Dolly, the team, didn't we? Don Taylor doing highlights. Can we just talk about that for a hot minute? Like, so great. I love it. Super uh, the proud Canucks of what Czech well did. Well positioned yeah. for next year. Gonna They're going to do really, really well. Are we going to do the whole show on well, that? No, there's a lot of people actually who have uh, their paying back bets. I've seen right? news anchors wear the Oilers right? jersey. And David Eby. David David Eby yeah. owes, uh, what does he owe? Daniel Smith, oh, he's, he's got to wear the jersey, right? Yeah. He's got to rock it. So he posted on, on his social media about how sad this is and what have you, and then responded to Daniel Smith here. He's like, what a heartbreaker. So much to be proud of, for sure. Best fans in the NHL. Oh, you got to say that here. Uh, and then congrats to the Oilers. Proud to honor the bet. I'll even be cheering Edmonton along with Canadians across the country as they take oh, on the Dallas Stars, which Alberta is happening Premier's as we speak. Already making bets or trying to make sure. bets. Oh, actually, the Edmonton mayor. It's a steak, Alberta beef versus Texas beef kind of thing. Right. That makes sense. They're starting to throw the raw steak on the grill. Anyway, we Let's should talk, talk about the prize. Prizes, you yeah. You can maybe have a steak uh, the with the gift certificates. <laughs> we actually came up with the idea of this show at Earl's. Yes, Fun we fact, we were true. sitting at Earl's. Yeah. $100 gift card for you to go to Earl's. Maybe you'll have an inspirational, uh, fun meeting. <laughs> uh, just enter our viewing party. Send us your photo of you watching us right now. Tell us where you're watching from. Viewing party at checkmedia.ca. And we have a lot of really interesting things. Uh, one of them is very applicable to you as you recover from COVID. Nice to be back in studio. Yes, thank it is. you. It was you know, weird having it, you on location last uh, last week. Really weird week yeah. overall. Yeah, had COVID for the first time. Really excited to have Jason Tetro, the super awesome science guy. He is a specialist, a researcher in emerging pathogens. This guy is he knows his stuff. We're going to talk about long COVID. I'm. St obviously testing negative now, but still feeling the ill effects. I hope this Crossing doesn't fingers. last. Oh my gosh. Right? You had it. Did it linger for you? Uh, no. I mean, it okay, took good. like a good 10 days or whatever because I had the really, really sore throat right. when I had it. Hopefully so, the yeah, chips. That, that was not fun. The chips and, and wine will help. <laughs> Another thing we're going to talk about on the show, a lot of people this week yeah. were talking about that horrific video of the sur Brutal. surveillance video, security video from a hotel in LA of Diddy basically attacking his ex-girlfriend in 2016 and it has raised a lot of questions about why don't people believe the victim when why? women say they're being abused why do people say oh no she's probably just trying to get some money cassie so. ventura deserves all of our respect and the apology of many mm -hmm. for not believing her 
2006 she talked about this. Yeah, and the woman that you just saw there, that's that Angela, Angela Maria McDougal. McDougal. Yeah. She is with the Battered Women's Services Society, and she's going to come on and talk about how, you know, the ramifications yeah. and the ripple effect for victims here in BC as well. And then we're going to lighten up significantly and brighten up significantly. We're going to get colorful with Jacqueline Tupper from Lords. She is the shoe guru. We love her. She's been a longtime sponsor uh, and also of the show, but longtime sponsor of mine. I love Jacqueline. I'm so glad to yeah. have introduced her to you and she is going to be here to talk about your summer fashions shopping local sustainability all of it how you power clash why you should wear color <laughs> it's going to be clash. fun power yeah, clash. we're doing the whole jeans i know matching thing am i calling you levi unusual. now i know levi too i love it i'll take right, it let's get to this Hi, hey, guys. let's dive in okay where to begin linda where to begin in fact and indeed Okay, well, London Drugs, we knew that they had uh, hacking sort of a situation where they said, if you don't pay $25 million by today, we're going to release all this information. And guess what? Uh, they they did, did, in fact. They have uh, it released the information that may include some employee data. Yeah. So London Drugs is... Um, no customer data, though. Important to note, as London Drugs obviously has a lot of yeah. pharmacy information on so many people, that London Drugs is saying that that was not compromised. So uh, they'll keep us posted as this goes on. They did not pay the $25 million ransom. So the Russian hackers released that data to the uh. dark web. It's terrible. Speaking of, uh, let's talk about Surrey Police. Oh, Surrey Police, yes. Well, okay, full disclosure, my husband is the chief of the Surrey Police Service, and today there was a big court decision from the B.C. Supreme Court said the mayor's bid to try to keep the RCMP, that she has lost that, and uh, she is speaking out this afternoon. Who knows? I doubt that this is fully over because she's pretty entrenched, but that's the latest update on that story. That's the latest on <laughs> that. Hey, this just in. Another overpass has been uh, hit. Uh, this what one in doing? Langley, what are we and doing? so apparently the truck came up, and then there was somebody in the vehicle next to them going, "Hey, no, 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 it's too high." The passenger got out, looked, said, "No, we're good. Go forward, smash." What is wrong? What the hell is wrong with that? People? Could be in what I the know. hell? I'm so tired of these stories, and I'm tired of paying for it because we're all paying so for it. We've talked in the past. I think it was a few weeks ago where the rumor was out there, or the news was out there that Robert Picton was looking mm -hmm. at trying to get day passes, maybe some parole or what have you. Well, now he's on life support after and being attacked in a. Uh, Quebec prison. The latest is that they're saying that they will try. He's in a medically induced coma. Yeah. So they're saying they're going to try to bring him out of it to see if he can actually survive. I tweeted out this Vancouver Sun story and had almost a thousand people reply and retweet it. And most people's comments were along the lines of karma. Yeah. Not too many people were feeling too sorry for that serial killer who they believe is responsible for murdering a 49 women and yeah. maybe more. And the hope for investigators is that he doesn't die because they'd like to get some closure from, right. for some other victims' families. But certainly the families of those identified victims of the serial killer are uh, not really worried about his current state. Right? Oh, hey, so. I know you hate uh, planes and turbulence and whatever. So you won't enjoy okay, this, I'm just but not watch this, this is part. crazy. This is a Boeing and it was a Singapore Airlines and they hit... Um, Crazy turbulence. turbulence. They dropped 6,000 feet almost like that. And one person died. Yeah. 70 people were hurt. 20 are in intensive care still. Wear your seatbelt on the See, plane, that's guys. That's why they say don't take your seatbelt off unless they, you're literally going to the bathroom. They, Sit down, leave it on because yeah. you're going to bonk, hit your head on the ceiling. You, sh I got to show the Colorado hail. This is crazy. Oh. You found this one. I couldn't believe my eye. Uh, that's is hail. 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 <laughs> Uh, and that fell, they said that there were hailstones the size of baseballs coming down. They've had all kinds of storm systems go through and tornadoes and whatever. But can you imagine opening the door? You often see that in a big snowstorm yeah. where you open the door and it's I up cannot. to here. Hail. That, that must have been crazy noisy. Crazy. I have actually had a car that turned into the basically a golf ball, you know, the divots in a golf ball. I, I watched too. my car become a... Did you? Yes, during the big killer tornado. Let's Edmonton. just slip in quickly this about teen boys and their the trend of like... Well, we really were talking about the Sephora clothes. trend with yeah. kids going yeah. to Sephora yeah. and buying makeup in their yeah. tweens. Now, teenage boys all of a sudden want to go buy really expensive cologne. Yeah, and it's not a my 16-year-old. I don't know, and they are really, they know the and they're notes like, of what, you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, well, that's not, it's not acts. True. <laughs> true. But if you want $300 cologne, my son, you need a, a, a full-time job. job. <laughs> oh, man. Right? Lots still to okay. come on the show. Let's dive in.
Okay, well, the BC political polling is showing a split on the right. We were talking about a poll. We're going to get to that coming up maybe next week with Yeah, Falcon, we tried to book that for today. It didn't work. Still ahead. You yeah. may be done with COVID. COVID's not done with us. Oh. What we're learning about long COVID next with microbiologist Jason Tetro. And let's get to our viewing party, shall we? Yes. First up. This week for the Earl's $100 gift card is Dean and Burnaby. There That's you go, Dean. Ben. Diane in Mission. Hi, Diane. Gloria and Chica in West Vancouver checking in. I was oh, They're watching I was the Corgi. Yeah, okay. I love it. And Shelly and Victoria. All you have to do is send in your photo. Tell us where you're watching from. Viewing party at checkmedia.ca. It's all brought to you by the BCRFA. We're back in a moment.